guy who's proud to call himself the man who puzzles America. He's the mastermind behind Mumble, USA Today's Word Roundup, and other games you see every day online and in print. In fact, he's in 600 newspapers and reaches millions of people daily with his games. So? No, I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David L. Hoyt is here today to play his newest game with us. It is a giant version of his word winder game, and it's not mumble, it's yes, jumble. It's jumble. Sorry. jumble. Exactly. It's jumble. Gotcha. That's my favorite I know. one, actually. I, I knew you would point that <laughs> yeah. out, yes. Yeah. Um, yes. So we're so excited to have you here today. We're yes. standing on this huge yep. game in our bare feet. Yes. Tell us what we're going to be doing with this is word well, winder. This is a giant form of it, yes. right? You know, actually, oh, okay. actually, if you recall, I kind of came here to show off the, the you know the original board game and app version of, of Wordwinder. Right. And we got this in front of some teachers. A teacher actually saw it at the Chicago Toy and Game Fair and said, I have to have this in the classroom. But they were talking about the little game. Okay? Right. Oh, little and version then of we Wordwinder. We had a chance to make a giant game and it has just been incredible. Like kids cannot get enough of this. So, so fun. now we are, you know, and I'll show you how you play and uh, but what's happening is is I'm kind of touring the country, uh, playing it with kids and teachers and we're going to start manufacturing this and it has just been the most amazing thing. Teachers are forcing me to do this. It's out of my control. <laughs> but how'd you get into it to begin with? I mean, who becomes the man that puzzles America? I just always wanted to be an inventor. I had a chance to, to give up everything I was doing and just start my life completely over and I said, what would I really want to do? And I just decided I wanted to be a game inventor and I just stuck with it. it took four years of very hard work. Well, huh. yeah, I didn't, I don't know if we've brought up before that you worked on the Chicago Board of Trade. You yes. were like one of those suit and Guys, well, he's like, yeah, right? sort of corporate yeah. world. Yeah, well, I was, I was, a, yeah, I, I had a trader in the pit, and he and I would trade options, and you know, it was, it was very addictive. Let's and just stressful, say that. right? Yes, it was stressful, but mostly addictive. And it's, I, and I knew this that this is addictive. These these yeah, addictive. are addictive. Well, if I'm going to be addicted to something, I'd rather be addicted to this. Yeah, like choose it. something positive. E exactly. So why do educators get so excited? What, is it, what do games like this do for us? There's, there's team building. There's, uh, you know, in fact, I'll show you, I'll show okay. you how. Okay. Okay, should we step okay. off? Go ahead and step off. It's not off. right hand step yellow, off, Tiff. Yes. left okay. foot, pink. Okay. So, so what's <laughs> happening here is you're making words. Okay, like okay. here's the word tracking. As long as the letters are touching and consecutive, you can play them. Where's the G? Okay, the G is right here. So you come oh, back. Oh, oh. So yeah, you come so back to I the G. R-A-C-K. I-N-G. -G. G. Got there, it. There's, there's the word, mm -hmm. let's see. Vodka? Darn, oh, dan oh. or jar. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I thought it was V-O-G. Over there, it, it says fire. It's possible. It's possible. <laughs> like, is this from our boss? <laughs> Here's the word saint, you know, there's the word pod, there's the word vest. As long as the letters touch and are in order, yeah. you can play them. Okay. Okay. Now, it's, it's so simple. What you're looking to do is create a word winding path of words that connect one side of the board to the opposite side. So if I've laid this board oh. out to show you. For example, if the orange player were to play grit coming straight down or, mm -hmm. or this way, orange would win by connecting the top to the bottom. It's, oh, it's so I see. simple. See, okay. So it doesn't have to be path. all your color, it's, or it no, does. No, it is. Just oh, look. I see. see. If they play this, right? Yep. If they if they play grit, then orange is going to connect all the way from the top, top to the to bottom. The bottom. Mm -hmm. Got and it. I probably should have grabbed a few chips here to kind of demonstrate mm -hmm. that. Okay. But, um, so, but what's going to happen is, is the other two teams are going to have something to say about that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So yeah. they're going to create a temporary alliance. And work together. So what to teachers, try to block to that try person. to block. So okay. like right now, if if we were not orange, so so if orange were going, orange is going to win by just making grit and connecting the top. So the Tiff and I have to figure out a way to block How that. How do right? you block orange exactly? And can you use a letter that yeah. already has a plate on if it? If it's your plate, you can. If it's your plate, exactly. Oh, I just realized that these are plates. Yes. Well, okay. these are ah. these are we call them chips. Sure. But officially they're right. plates because we can't find anything better. Like this is these are That's perfect. So cool. They're yeah. they're light. They're inexpensive. They are just perfect All for right, what Tiffany we're doing. All right, Tiffany and I are going to block you by doing R I N G for ring. Mm -hmm. Okay, that seems like a logical play. Okay. okay, so so we have it right there. R I N G, and we blocked your yep. orange. R I. -N -G. I love that. G. Okay. Okay. So now, teamwork. Yeah. Okay. So now, okay, um, let's see here. If P I M 
were a word or MIP were a word, then orange could come in around that. And that's another thing that the educators are loving is that kids have to look up words. So they're yeah. learning new words. They want that to be a word. Mm -hmm. So right. they have to kind of look it up. Now, I can, I can still win with 10 and come around here. But now let's say it's yellow's turn. Okay. Yellow is going to come in and block 10. Or teen. Okay. Or, or teen. Yeah, so, oh, so you teen. put an orange Whoops. on that one. Yep. There you go. So teen. Yeah, you could okay. do both. So now orange is a lot more blocked. So now orange may say, oh, wow, I'm so blocked. I may have to change direction and go left to right. Go so rather than top to bottom. I get it. So what's happening is, is kids, when they originally start playing this, they're first into, you know, they want to spell words. And mm -hmm. then as they get the strategy, something clicks in them. And then they're, you know, it's all about the blocking. They want to block. Like who, what kid doesn't want to block some other kid from, yeah. from, from winning? From winning, again? right. So teachers are kind of demanding that we offer this giant game. And now we're, we're going to go into production of this. And we're talking to investors about raising the money to, to start a whole business. I think I it's it. wonderful. We're looking at some examples, some pictures of when you mm -hmm. visited classrooms. I think that one was even in New York. That, you were under a tent, right? That's outside, actually, in front of the NBC Tower here in Chicago. Oh, in Chicago. That's a okay. prototype. That's the first one that we made. Oh, wow. And awesome. a teacher saw that and said, I have to have this in the classroom. So, so one teacher saw the board game and said, I have to have it in the classroom. A different teacher saw the giant one. So it's out of my control. I I've know, I get control. that. And it does take up some space, but it's mobile. <laughs> and you can yes. change this, right? Because That's you can change the little exactly. squares. Exactly. Every time you, you start a new game, you rearrange these, and they're double-sided. There's actually a, I think it's a Decicillion. It's one with 23 zeros after it. No two <laughs> games will ever play the same, ever. Wow, that's yeah. amazing. That's how many combinations there are. And you've got an app, a book, a board game, and now, obviously, the giant word winder as well. So I know there's going to be a lot of people who say they want to get this, whether it's at home or in school. Schools, so we're going to give the information for how they can do that. But you can meet David Hoyt today and play Word Winder with him. See if you like it. See how it is. Have fun. See if you can beat him today at East Troy Community Library, which is at 3.30 until 4.30. That's on Graydon Avenue in East Troy. Or from 6 to 8 p.m. at St. Peter's School in East Troy, which is on Elm Street. If you want to get the game, wordwinder.com. That's where you can find out more about all the games that David has and why he is the man that puzzles America. Yeah, what would be better than beating the man who puzzles right? America? Right. I was, I was doing this for Barnes & Noble. Barnes & Noble sent me around the country playing this with, with kids. And a 12-year-old beat me the other day. And at first I was like, okay, he's 12. I'll take it easy on him. But this kid just got off to such a start that I, couldn't, I could not beat him. That's so awesome. So people can beat me at like this. That. It doesn't happen very often. So come out today and try to beat me. That's Fun. awesome. Yeah. Thanks, Thanks, David. You again. Come back anytime. Mm -hmm.